Hi everyone, welcome back to the three-part series on how to load data in and out of Snowflake's cloud data platform using FME. In the second video, I'll be showing you how to add the Snowflake reader onto your canvas in FME. This will allow you to read the data from the Snowflake database that we set up in the first video. If you haven't seen the first video in the series on how to set up a Snowflake database connection, make sure you watch that. The link to the video will be in the description box below. All right, so now that we've set up a Snowflake database connection, we're going to add in the Snowflake reader to the workflow. Now I'm going to click parameters, go into additional options and grab the customer table from the 150,000 feature data set that we set our workspace to connect to in the last video. Then I'm going to add that to the canvas. While we're at it, what I'm going to do is add in a CSV writer and I'm going to write that data out to a local location. Now I'm going to save that into this folder here because I want to use it in a workflow later on. All right, and I'll copy from the reader and we'll just make sure that we've got stuff here connected up. Next, I'm going to take a look at my user attributes. I'm going to get rid of the CSV name. I just want to call it customers in my case, and the user attributes are all there. They're all coming down a string. We could fine tune some of these if we know if they're numbers and whatnot. For this tutorial, I'm going to leave them as strings. Now I'm just going to run the workspace. So it's read in those features. In this case, 150,000 features. I'm just going to scroll up here and take a look at the log. And what I'm looking for here is just to see the executing SQL statement that we sent against the database. It's useful to review, especially if you're having issues. Just one thing that's worth mentioning here. We have the same SQL statements that run before and after into a database if for some reason there was some SQL you want to run against your database. And we also have features to read. So when you're testing, it's good to make use of that max features to read especially when you're working with large data. We can see here under our customer type, we have the where clause. So just be aware of that. It's very useful for selecting the data you're interested in. Okay, there we go. We've been able to read 150,000 features and write them out to a CSV file. We've now added the Snowflake reader onto our canvas. In the final video of the series, we'll show you how to write CSV data back to Snowflake. So don't forget to tune into the conclusion of this three-part series. See you in the next video.